Hi, it's Julian Meller, Easy Swing Coach. Today's video is about this, what I call the second shot syndrome. So I'm here at Golf Indoors in the new, my new coaching venue. Um, what's the second shot syndrome all about? So we've all had this happen to us. So we're stood on a tee, uh, this shot matters, and suddenly we hit a shot that goes out of bounds. We grab another one out of the bag, we hit that one, it goes right down the middle, and we go, well, why didn't I do that one first time? Uh, I think we, I think we're all familiar with that one. Um, so let's think about what what's happening to your body on the first shot, and more importantly, what's happening on the second shot, and why can't we do that straight away rather than having to waste two shots when we're playing? So let's put ourselves in the scenario. We're on a, we're on a hole. It's quite a tight hole. Trouble down the left. Trouble down the right. And the only real outcome is we need this ball to finish on the green. Uh, sorry, on the fairway, this is just a little forward that I'm hitting here. Um, so what state is my body going to be in? So this shot really matters, and what commonly happens is you over-tighten. If you just look at my left shoulder, you see how that's almost stuck up in my ear. So if we can relax that or drop, so your muscles are better, but if I tighten that up, which commonly happens on a golf course, so the muscles are over-tightened because this shot matters. We try to make a free golf swing. And there's that one that, that we've just hit. So that one now has suddenly gone out of bounds right. Let's just see how far that went off target. So uh, just down the right hand side. So 51.5 yards off target, miles out of bounds. Now you're feeling uh, probably a little bit frustrated, but now you think, oh, stop it. It doesn't really matter. I'm just going to hit this one. Hopefully this one will be okay. So now I feel a lot more relaxed. I'm not overthinking it. And then this one starts to go more down the fairway, still a little bit right, but, um, but all of a sudden that swing was freed up. Uh, I could release the club a little bit better than I did on the first one. So that one's 21 yards offline. Uh, let me just hit another one and relax even more. So now I feel really, really comfortable. I don't really care what happens to the shot. Um, freed up a lot more. And all of a sudden, that one's starting to go a lot straighter still. So, uh, how far is that one offline? Let's just have a quick look at the numbers. Uh, 11 yards offline. So that's going to hit quite a, quite a lot of fairways. So on that first shot, when it really matters, certainly on the first hole, we see this all the time. People are over tight. They've probably not had a few practice swings, and then all of a sudden that bad shot happens. So if I just physically over tighten my muscles again. So I've locked the shoulder up, my hands feel really tight, probably up to eight or nine out of 10 when I hit this one. Even if the swing feels good, try to hit it hard. And there's that same shot again, finished way off right, uh, out of bounds again. So just imagine if you could stand on that tee, knowing full well, let's use our intelligence. Intellectually, we know if we tighten up, it's really, really difficult to release the club face. So what's the point? We might as well opt for the second option and get relaxed in it to start off with. So we know that bad shot's gonna happen if we're tight. Let's just let it go. Let's relax, be, feel comfortable and let it go. See there, I've just swung that with much more freedom. Um, longer straighter golf shot. Don't know how, how far offline that one's gone. Let's have a quick look. Uh, so seven yards offline, 200 and, uh, 219 yards, that one's gone. So that's put us on, on the fairway. So let's, let's be clever about this. We know that tight muscles in the golf swing are absolutely rubbish. Um, so there's going to be a mental tension, which will lead to a physical tension. So let's, let's try and get over that one. Let's, we might as well make a relaxed golf swing and give it a chance to go down the middle rather than a forced tight golf swing where we just can't release the golf club um, and then we start hitting those shots that go miles offline. If I just hit, uh, what have I got here, just an eight iron, same thing. So imagine there's a pond down the, the left hand side, quite a tight pin on the right. So this shot, ideally we want it to go on the green, but now I've tightened back up again because this shot matters, tight muscles. So I've struck it all right, but there it goes again. High, right shot. Probably going to well, it's avoided the water on the left, but now it's probably gone right to the bunkers. Now we've got a difficult shot. 
to get it over the bunker and onto the green. So let's let that go. So that one's 24 yards off target. It's not going to hit too many greens, is it? So now I feel much more relaxed, a little bit more comfortable. And that one's gone a little bit straighter. And so let's be smart when we play golf. Let's not fall into the trap of over tightening, of picking out small targets. Let's be a lot more free. Just imagine if you were stood on top of a cliff hitting a golf ball into the sea. You wouldn't be tightening up there. You'd be swinging nice and free and just let go. But as soon as we tighten those muscles up, they're terrible. Um, so have a think about this and don't take my word for it. Get on the golf course and put it into practice straight away. I'm going to be doing that this afternoon with the lady that I coach. Uh, and I, I'll almost guarantee that I'll see those muscles tightening up when, uh, when she's in a pressure situation. So uh, as always, hope this has helped a little bit. May, might make you think a little bit more, might make you chuckle a bit when you keep hitting that good second shot. Uh, if you need to get in touch with me, just uh, go on my website, juliemillgolfschool.com and look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.